Alright, hey howdy, how's it going? That power's no match for me! How are they gonna make him look so good? He sounds so cool too, I, I honestly wanna buy the skin. It's, it, I do have Spawn though. See, that's already pretty cool. Doesn't look right, because Spawn is kinda like, very buff. Mortal Kombat made him look right. My skill-based matchmaking probably is cracked out through the roof, but I am currently trying to just get all the mastery camo stuff done so or the masteries for the guns where you get a certain amount of kills with each uh with each camo and also at the same time i get to grind out these souls which the souls are kind of cool i like I, li I like the idea of them i don't really care if i'm dying that much or anything because honestly if i if it's a kill and a death every time that's a win in my book, because then it just kind of evens itself out. Something that I find crazy is that there are people on this game who are level 1000. I, you can see I'm level 657. I stopped playing for a while, and I think that's partially the reason why. But it doesn't make any sense to me as to why it's possible to get to that level, unless you're playing Warzone 24-7, and these guys are just like, it's their off-season, basically, or something. No, but yeah, I'm probably going to end up buying the next mo Modern Warfare purely because that's just something you can make videos on something that i'm inspired by honestly and something that you may notice a little bit with my with my videos right now if i were to come out constantly with videos again i never really did but if i ever did it would basically turn into the way that phase jeb does his videos which you know is a very good inspiration i do like his videos i watch them all the time the one thing that i think him and i have in common is the fact that we both like the x defiant uh game itself we aren't like how some people are where they're like oh it lost hype x defiant i don't understand why people believe x defiant lost hype at all it doesn't make any sense x defiant didn't lose hype you just aren't interested in it a game doesn't lose hype if you are actually willing to play it and you find it really fun like no one loses hype for a game like spider-man then you have people online who are like is spider-man dead or whatever those are just people trying to you know clickbait the shit out of their the community all right, well, you're probably going to wonder why there is a complete, just big gap. Not even a gap, but a random pause in the middle of what I was talking about, and then now we're here. Believe it or not, my computer took a major shit, and I had to work on fixing that for just a little bit. So that's why, you know, I didn't just do it all at once. I'm not going to lie, I am sick of the trophy systems. I'm going to start having to run DDoS again, because I, I can't stand it. See, something I like to do with the with the portable radar things is just throwing one and leaving it. Now I know where all those people are for until it goes out. I actually don't know when it stops working. Honestly, the only reason why I'm playing Shipment is because Shipment's the only mode where you can get kills pretty quickly and without having to sacrifice like 30 minutes worth of a match or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's definitely not that long. No, but see, the problem with, with me using the SMGs right now is the SMGs are probably one of the easiest things to use. I don't I don't think anyone has ever said uh, the SMGs are bad. Something that's nice about when you're playing against with regular players, by regular I mean people who, you know, just are playing to play, they're just having fun, running around, whatever, doing pretty much what I'm doing right now where, you know, they don't care if they die, they're not sweating their nuts off. If they get a kill, they get a kill. That's what I like. And that is what X Defiant, I feel like, will probably go for. I, I'm, I'm really hoping for that. I know people are saying X Defiant, you know, it's gonna, it's dead already, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's not dead. It, want, it You can never beat COD. If you are calling any game a COD killer or Fortnite killer, you can't. You can't kill those games. They, in their own right, legitimately can never just disappear randomly. No, yeah, but I, I, I don't understand why people do what they do when it comes to this game. I don't understand why, you know, they're trying as hard as they are. Skill-based matchmaking is a good reason as to why people do try it way harder. No, but skill-based ma- the, the saddest part about it all is that skill-based matchmaking didn't exist the whole time when it came to modern warfare in general. I, I don't understand why, like, if you're ever wondering, like, Black Ops 2, all those old games, you know, Black Ops 3, even, Advanced Warfare, these games didn't have skill-based matchmaking. You quite literally just played with whoever was there, and that was fun. That was fun to a lot of people, and there there is no issue with that. One thing that's nice about Modern Warfare 3 is the time to kill is much higher right is that the correct way to put it that it, it's much higher so it forces people like there's no the issue with modern warfare 2 is that you die really fast that that's that's like a chronic 
chronic problem. And the reason is, is because if you already, there's no reaction time. It's basically as if you're dying to a one shot ability or something like that. You know, it, it people don't like playing against something where they can't, like, there's no ability to out, uh, huh, outplay. To be honest, I don't know why some people disagree with it. The, the time to kill in the game feels fine. Oh, dude. Oh, man. There are so many people here. That that was insane. One issue, for example, when it came when it when it came when it comes to one shot of like abilities, whatever you want to call it, it is probably one of the most annoying things in this game. Like a grenade one shotting you, not a problem. There's the ability for a frag grenade. You pick it up, throw it. Um, a semtex when it hits the ground, it starts going off. Just don't be in the way of that but for this new shotgun that they have done the doom shoddy it is probably the most obnoxious thing i've ever seen and this guy isn't exactly using it he is also he's pretty much just using a shotgun but the fact that you can make a shotgun so decked out that even if your aim is terrible the shotgun will guarantee just one shot is fucking boring and i stand by that i absolutely stand by that i don't care Half these guys on this team are using shotguns. I don't exactly care because I can play at range. But it's also like really annoying when that's all that this team is doing. You know, they're they're sweat they're they're really they're really trying, you know. No, but I I, I don't know. This game Modern Warfare 2 could have been one of the probably the greatest games to come out if it received the Modern Warfare 3 update and at the same time was just getting more content. This game is filled with microtransactions, not even micro, ginormous transactions worth of $30 bundles, $20 bundles, uh, bundles? $50 bundles, uh, uh, just so many bundles of shit that obviously, in a way, is only cosmetic, but it, it makes you feel like you're missing out. The battle pass isn't necessarily a bad idea, uh, and having it in a game like this isn't that bad if you're really enjoying playing, you know, but it becomes a problem when a you either don't enjoy it or b the shit that's in the battle pass is terrible fortnite after a while had this issue where certain things just weren't that fucking cool and you'd be like cool another another one one other thing is that like for this game for the battle pass they have what what, what is it they have the the black cell battle pass which forces the player or user consumer or whatever you want to call the person to basically they are they are forced to have to spend money you can't use your premium currency you have to spend actual money to buy the pack for something that originally just costed the money so for example in this battle pass i'm not even gonna this will this, this is gonna be the end here but for this battle pass it's a thousand one hundred it used to be a thousand they bumped it up by one just uh, i don't know why to be a, a dickhead if you let's see if you go to a store go here this if you check the ten dollar one at ten percent bonus that doesn't mean anything i don't think people realize this a bonus to a degree doesn't really mean anything obviously a hundred cod points is one dollar as you can see here two dollars two cod points the bonus is just to get you to buy that one obviously you know every we, we, all, we all get that but the issue that happens is that you're missing out on content for this game so there is you get all this but then you see bl the black cell version oh, hold on let's go to one where i actually own it okay so you go to you go to this guy for example you got him then you get this the black cell version of this character looks a little bit cooler right uh obviously these ones kind of look like shit a bunch of people kind of agree that it looks like dog shit but if you press r you see upgrade to black cell exclusive operator so valeria again we already had her they had a new one new smoke grenade i believe that's the thing that was making those fucking loud ass noises blueprint says it's a 20 dollars value for these four things i believe i'm gonna let you know this now a finishing move that takes forever no this character really bright no and a blueprint i don't think people realize this blueprints are probably one of the worst things to ever be in a game i like the idea of camos and the ability to change parts of a gun that is interesting but jesus christ man it is so annoying and wait let's see what else do they have so if you were to upgrade for 30 dollars, you get cod points 20 dollars cod points tier skips which if you just played the game you wouldn't need these and these unique rewards 
Yeah, and then it says it compares it to in in game store bundles. The the problem right now, you you'll see. I believe for this game, you will see a lot more change because Microsoft had purchased Activision Blizzard King. Obviously, they only wanted the mobile thing, whatever. But the, you're gonna see a lot of change. I wouldn't be surprised if battle passes and stuff like that saved or stayed. Wouldn't be against if they just changed the way that you earn things made it so that there was more things to earn one thing that i look forward to is that the game pass is uh next year modern warfare 3 is going to go to that that's going to be great so i have no reason to buy it you know i just get to play it uh, i don't know how they're going to make it work exactly though for like pc i don't know if they're going to make it where you know you could play do it for both we'll find out i guess but I guess that'll do it for this video. I don't really have much else to say. I do apologize. If you enjoyed this quick little video, then, you know, drop a like. That's all I would ask for. And if you're not going to like the video, then subscribe. It's free. It's optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. But if you're here and you constantly, you know, or consistently see my videos, just subscribe. And then, you know, you see them more. But I guess that'll do it. See ya.